Welcome back to Power Director Made Simple. In the previous video, it was probably somewhat confusing on how to deal with the button for slideshow preferences. Which should you choose? Fit photos to music or fit the music to the photos? And what difference does it actually make? In today's video, I hope to clear up any confusion about those choices. And the easiest way to do that is to present some side-by-side -side comparisons. I'm going to quickly prepare four slideshows, all using the same template and the same music choice. Number one will be 10 photos using fit photos to the music. The number two will be 10 photos using fit music to the photos. And number three will be 52 photos using fit photos to the music and number four will be 52 photos using fit the music to the photos. So now let's begin on the first comparison. I'll start by opening the slideshow creator tool. I'll click on import your photos. I'll select import image files. From a folder that I have prepared ahead of time, I'll select the first 10 photos and click Open. I'll then click on Next. I'll select the Normal template. I'll click on the Select Background Music icon. And I'll click on the Download Music from the Meta icon. I'll click on the very first music piece in the list, Desert at 226 in duration and then click OK. I'll make no adjustments to the music and click on OK. I'll now click on Slideshow Preferences. I'm first going to click on Fit Photos to the Music and then click OK. I'll click on Next. The preview window shows a slideshow duration of 226, which matches the duration of the music. I'll click on Next. Now, very important here, notice towards the top that 10 photos were imported and all 10 were used. What it does not tell you is if any photos were repeated. I'll click on Advanced Editing. And just so that we can identify each of the four comparisons, I'm going to rename this audio clip as Number 1, 10 Images. If I were to play this slideshow now, some of the images would repeat three or four times. The template had to do that in order to fill in the time of the music that we set. So now let's start on the second comparison. I'm going to open the Slideshow Creator tool. I'll click on Import Your Photos. I'll select Import Image Files. I'll select the same first 10 photos and click Open. I'll then click on Next. I'll select the Normal Template. I'll click on the Select Background Music icon and I'll click on the Download Music from Meta icon. I'll click on the same music piece and then click OK. And I'll make no adjustments to the music and click on OK. I'll now click on Slideshow Preferences. This time I'm going to click on Fit the Music to the Photos and then click OK. I'll click on Next. The preview window now shows a slideshow duration of just over 38 seconds, which is much shorter than the duration of the music. I'll click on Next. Very important here, notice it still says 10 photos were imported and all 10 were used. I'll click on Advanced Editing. I'll rename this audio clip as Number 2, 10 Images. 
If I were to play this slideshow, all 10 images are shown and none of them repeat. I'm going to move it directly below the first slideshow just for comparative purposes. And right away, you can see a major difference in the duration of the slideshows. The second one accomplishes what we want and it does it in a much shorter time period. But now let's throw a curveball at the template and have it deal with a larger number of images. I'm going to start the third comparison. I'll open the slideshow creator tool. I'll click on import your photos. I'll select import image files. This time I'm going to select all 52 photos and click open. I'll then click on next. I'll select the same normal template. I'll click on the select background music icon. And once again, I'll click on the download music from Meta icon. I'll click on the same music piece and then click OK. I'll make no adjustments to the music and click on OK. Now I'm going to click on Slideshow Preferences. This time, I'll click on fit the photos to the music and then click OK. I'll click on Next. In the preview window, it now shows a slideshow duration of 226 which matches the duration of the music. I'll click on Next. Once again, this is very important here. Notice at the top it says 52 photos were imported, but only 37 were used. The music duration was just not long enough to display all 52 photos. I'll click on Advanced Editing. This time I'm going to rename the audio clip as number 3, 37 slash 52 images. If I were to play this slideshow right now, only 37 images would display, but there'd be no repeats. Now right away you can see this looks very similar to the first slideshow. The durations are identical at 226, but number 1 shows 10 images with multiple repeats, while number 3 manages to show 37 images in the same time duration. Now finally, let's see what it's going to take to show all 52 images. I'm going to start the fourth comparison. First, I'm going to move number 1 and number 2 over to the right to make room for number 4. I'm going to open the Slideshow Creator tool. I'm going to click on Import Your Photos. I'll select Import Image Files. And once again, I'm going to select all 52 photos and then click on Open. I'll then click on Next. I'm going to select the Normal Template. I'll click on the Select Background Music icon. I'm going to click on the Download Music from Meta icon. And I'm going to click on the same music piece and then click OK. I'll make no adjustments to the music and click on OK. I'll now click on Slideshow Preferences. And this time, I'm going to click on Fit the Music to the Photos, and then click OK. I'll click on Next. The preview window now shows a slideshow duration of just over 3 minutes and 18 seconds, which is much longer than the duration of the music. I'll click on Next. 
And once again, it's very important to look here. Notice it says 52 photos were imported and all 52 were used. I'll click on Advanced Editing. Notice in the timeline that in order to make the music repeat, a separate audio clip was added. I'm going to rename this audio clip as number 4, 52 images. If I were to play this slideshow, all 52 images would display with no repeats. I'll move the slideshows together so that you can kind of see them all at the same time. Number one was 10 images but repeated photos over the 2 minutes and 26 seconds. Number two was the same 10 images as fast as the template could display them. Number three was an attempt at 52 images but only 37 could be displayed in the music time. And number four was all 52 images but it required additional music time. When you get to that point in slideshow preferences Try to remember this when confronted with the duration choice of photos or music. The two choices actually mean change the first item as needed, but don't change the last item. So fit photos to music means change the photos as needed, but don't change the music. And fit the music to the photos means change the music as needed, but don't change the photos. I hope this helps you create the slideshows of your dreams, so keep experimenting with a small number of photos to find the template that you like the best. And once again, thanks for watching. And please hit the subscribe button. Take it away, take it away.